Your Excellency, while we remain standing, permit me to invite Ms. Evelyn Nyakwara to lead us in a word of prayer. Let's pray. God, we come to you this morning. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for enabling us to, uh, to sit here today. As we undertake this activity, we pray that you be with us. We commit the leadership of this country into your hands. We commit our president into your hands. We pray that you be with us and all that is planned for this day. Father, you make it a success, for we have prayed, believing, and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We may take, kindly take our seats. Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the leadership of the National Assembly and the Senate, all members of Cabinet present, the Governor of Nairobi, who is here on behalf of the Council of Governors, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This state ceremony is convened pursuant to Article 115 of the Constitution for the presidential assent of the Affordable Housing Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 75 of 2023. Your Excellency, the bill was passed by the National Assembly on 21st February 2024 and thereafter by the Senate with amendments on 12th March 2024. Subsequently, the National Assembly endorsed the Senate's amendments and passed the bill on 14th March 2024. Your Excellency, with both houses of Parliament having discharged their law-making mandate, Your Excellency, as the head of state and government, is most graciously invited to exercise your presidential prerogative as vested in you by Article 115 of the Constitution to ascend to the Affordable Housing Law. Sir, permit me now to invite the following members of the Executive alongside the parliamentary leadership to witness Your Excellency assent to the Affordable Housing National Assembly Bill 2023. Your Excellency, let me invite His Excellency the Deputy President to move forward, followed by the Honorable Attorney General, if he's not there, the Prime Cabinet Secretary to, to move forward, the Cabinet Secretary for Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Speaker of the Senate to follow. The Governor of Nairobi County, the, majority, the leader of the majority party in the National Assembly, followed by the majority leader in the Senate, Your Excellency, sir, I now invite the clerk of the National Assembly to convey the vellum copies of the bill for Your Excellency's presidential assent. Yeah. Okay, let me also invite the Chair of Finance Committee and the Chair of Housing Committee and, and the Senate, both committees. Yeah. 
A clock. Your Excellency, I have the instructions, the consent of the Speakers of Houses of Parliament to place before you the vellum copies of the Affordable Housing Bill 2023. This bill, Your Excellency, was published on the 4th of December in the name of the member for Kikuyu and the leader majority party in the National Assembly. It was read the first time and referred to the committees of finance and housing of the National Assembly chaired by the member for Emuradikil and the member for Molo. The committee, Your Excellency, undertook public participation on the bills using the four options that are there in the starting orders by going throughout the country to undertake public participation in not less than 19 counties. And then thereafter, Your Excellency, the, com the committees also engaged stakeholders and experts. The option of Public participation by way of memoranda was, was stayed by courts for some time, but thereafter it was lifted. That's why the committees decided to, to take the option of going out the, of the country, going around the country, and uh, engaging members of public in that manner. The result, Your Excellency, are amendments that uh, informed the bill, largely coming from the members of public and the experts in the field. Then thereafter, Your Excellency, when the bill was considered a second reading, amendments were inserted, largely coming from the public. The bill was sent to the Senate. The Senate, Your Excellency, the, in the Senate, the bill was sponsored by the Senator for Kedicho and the leader, Senate Majority Leader, Your Excellency. The bill, Your Excellency, was referred to the Housing Committee, chaired by the Senator for Kembu County. And the Senate was able to look at the bill with the lens of our counties. Therefore, the Senate introduced amendments which are also accepted by the National Assembly. In a nutshell, Your Excellency, this bill provides a framework for implementation of the affordable housing program. It creates a board for purposes of administering the affordable housing programs. That board, Your Excellency, is mandated to undertake certain things in law. The bill also establishes four components of affordable housing, including the social housing unit, which is for persons who are earning less than 20,000 uh, per month, the, social, the, the middle class, which is for persons who are earning between uh, above 49,000, and the general affordable housing for persons who are earning between 20,000 and 149,000, Your Excellency. And finally, there is the rural housing, which is housing for at places outside the urban areas, Your Excellency. The bill also has institution uh, housing component, Your Excellency. This bill is also giving some tax reliefs, especially to the informal sector and to persons who uh, subscribe to the affordable housing scheme. The rate remain at 15% for employee and 15% for the employer. Oh, sorry, 1.5, Your Excellency, 1.5%. 1.5%, Your Excellency, uh, both for the employee and, f and for the employer. Your Excellency, the bill identifies eight, uh, eight agencies for purposes of implementing affordable housing, including the Ministry responsible for housing, the National Construction Authority, the, the NHC, as we know it today, 
our county governments and private entities as may be approved by the board. The bill has uh, accountability mechanisms which are anchored in it because it requires the board to come up with uh, annual and five-year programs which are to be presented to the cabinet and then to parliament for consideration and approval. Your Excellency, the bill requires the board to prioritize affordable housing for slum areas and also has mechanism to ensure that there is no multiple allocation of affordable housing. It has a criteria for how people qualify to be allocated. To find that your Excellency, the bill requires the board to ensure as, as may be practical as possible that materials for affordable housing are done using locally sourced uh, materials. The labor is sourced from the local communities, particularly where the houses are being done. And finally, if houses are being done in places where there are TVETs or universities, that our students are given opportunities, Your Excellency, to, to intern there and also to do skilled and unskilled labor, Your Excellency. Thank you. Vellum copies are in six. Your Excellency, so that after assent, the bill provides the dates of commencement. Part of the clauses will commence immediately. The bill is published in the Gazette. And part of the clauses will commence on a date to be determined by the Cabinet Secretary in Gazette. It is a long bill, Your Excellency, with 61 clauses. 61, 61 clauses, Your Excellency. And the three schedules, part of which speaks to the manner in, in which the board will be conducting its affairs, and the manner in which the board will also be determining the allocation of houses. It is envisaged, Your Excellency, that some regulations will also be promulgated by the Cabinet Secretary upon assent and commencement of this bill. Our county governments, Your Excellency, have also been given a function in the bill by way of creation of county affordable housing committees in every county for purposes of advising the governors on their roles on their roles as established in this bill your excellency i seek your leave to join the rest thank you your excellency permit me now to invite you to affix the public seal of the republic of kenya on the statute pursuant to article 135 of the constitution which requires every presidential action to be under the hand and seal of the president. Permit me also to invite the six designated artisans to join His Excellency the President as he affixes the public seal.
Tumpigi Rais Makofi kwa hiyo kazi. One more round of applause, please. I, I would now request all of us to retreat to our seat except the CS Lance and the Attorney General and two designated witnesses. The rest of us, let us have our seats. Excellency, okay, it's okay. It's only his excellency the president who will open the the law. The others let us close. Yeah, like that. Thank you, Excellency. You can now retreat your, take your seat. Let me now invite the Cabinet Secretary for Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development to progress the day's program. Welcome, Waziri.